హలో గైస్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు హైటెక్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ ఎస్ దిస్ వీడియో ఇస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ సినారియో బేస్డ్ ఏఎల్ఎస్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ విత్ ఆన్సర్ పార్ట్ టూ ఓకే ఎస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో రైట్ విఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ మెయిన్ దర్ ఆర్ మెయిన్ ఫైవ్ డిఫరెంట్ సినారియోస్ వీ గోన టాక్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఇస్ ఆల్ అబౌట్ వెబ్ అప్లికేషన్ బేస్డ్ డేటా ఎన్క్రిప్షన్ హౌ ఆర్ వీ గోన డిస్కస్ దట్ ఇస్ సినారియో వన్ సెకండ్ సినారియో వీ గోన డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ లేటెన్సీ ఇష్యూ వెన్ పీపుల్ ఆర్ యాక్సెసింగ్ ద డేటా హౌ ద డేటెన్సీ ఇష్యూ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ నో క్వశ్చన్స్ క్యాన్ అరైవ్ uh based on this uh, next one right we are going to talk about uh, cost saving about one scenario with the answer and fourth scenario is all about iam how are we gonna provide the access uh, and uh, you know authentication authorization strategy for the development team and one last scenario we are going to discuss about uh, microservices communication okay microservices communication how are we gonna set up a vpc those five scenario going to discuss in this video so if you like the video really subscribe to our channel okay and share this video with your friends all right so thanks for, for all of your support what you have given for the part 1 uh, which made me to create the part 2 video guys i am really thank you there are so many people are like commented if anyone missed the part 1 video right in this video description i miss, uh, mentioned the part 1 video uh, link go ahead and have a look on it then you come to this video okay here we are going to discuss about next uh, top 5 interview questions okay let's get started so this is the scenario number 1 what is the question here your web application you know your web application stores the sensitive uh, data okay uh, customer data and you want to ensure it is encrypted at rest how can you achieve this in aws what they are trying to ask you have a web application uh, which has some sensitive data okay customer data you want to ensure uh, to be encrypted as rest how we will achieve this in aws imagine your application is there in aws mean web application data how you gonna achieve this uh, in terms of encryption at rest okay what would be the answer any guess boom so this is going to be our answer guys like uh, i would use amazon s3 with the server side encryption okay i would use uh, amazon s3 with server side encryption enabled to store data at rest okay additionally for ebs volumes right i would enable encryption and for rds databases i would choose encryption option during the setup what they are trying to say i would use aws s3 for the server side encryption enable to store the data so whatever the web application you have right that data we can ensure that can be backed up or stored into aws s3 so we have a option to enable the s3 address okay additionally uh, when you are web application hosted in the server obviously you will be using ebs volume again using kms service right we can enable the ebs as well parallelly if you are storing your data into any database uh, you are using rds as database service again we have a encryption while setting up the database itself we have a option to encrypt it so these are the three possible factor where we can store our customer data when in terms of uh, web application so we do have a option to encrypt it okay this is the answer for scenario number 1 okay cool let's discuss the scenario 2 your applications users are experience high latency when accessing the data stored in amazon s3 how can you improve the data retrieval speed simple when you are storing your you know uh, data or when you are hosted your application static website something like you are hosted it on uh, you know uh, specific s3 uh, when people are trying to access that application right they may face some slowness they may face some you know hanging while accessing the application. that that issue will be considered as a latency uh, so imagine your your uh, bucket is created in uh, uh, you know uh, mumbai region if people are trying to access from us or uk of course the distance is matter right so they may, they can face the latency issue so now the uh, talk is about all about how we are how are we going to improve the retrieval speed this is the question okay so this is not only applicable for your uh, s3 based application any application whenever people face on latency the answer what i'm going to tell you now this is common okay in this scenario you can uh, consider for any kind of latency issues uh, question comes in aws okay fine what could be the answer yeah to reduce latency i would utilize amazon cloud front okay aws content delivery network cdn content delivery network cloud front caches content at edge locations worldwide reducing latency for end user and speeding up the data retrieval yes guys in aws there is a service called cloud front okay that service act like a cdn content delivery network makes sense so 
when you come to uh, cloud front your application caches right so will be uh, cached in all the edge location if viewers people are accessing that will be edge location server will be there your web application cache content will be available over there whenever any people from that location accessing mean instead of coming to the end server from the cache itself will be accessed it will be accessed that is the one another uh, you know advantage when using cloud front so this way right we can reduce the latency we don't want user to come every time to the actual server and getting the data instead better we can go ahead and we can use a uh, what you call uh, we can use this uh, specific um, you know uh, cloud front kind of server where it uses a cache all right so hope this is uh, you know uh, you understand let's go and discuss about scenario 3 your organization is looking to save cost on unused AWS resources. Okay. So what strategy would you employ to optimize cost? Simple, basic question. If you go any interview, right, this question play a crucial role. Okay. Because cost cutting is matter for every client. Okay. When you work on a cloud project, especially. Okay. Answer any, any guess, by the way, what is the answer? Boom. I would utilize AWS Cost Explorer to analyze spending and identifying unauthorized reducers. Implementing AWS Trust Advisor and using features like auto scaling and the spot instances can help optimize cost, which means what? I would utilize AWS Cost Explorer. In the AWS, there is an option under cost, there is a cost explorer available. Using that, right, we can uh, you know filter out uh, what are the services are consuming, how much. Okay, and uh, this resource, how much it cost for a month, three month. So, which service is consuming a lot, which resource is consuming a lot, those information, right, you will identify from the cost explorer. In that, right, you can identify whether it which are something, you know, unnecessary or unwanted. Go ahead and plan to clean it up. Hmm? And implementing AWS Trust Advisor, Trusted Advisor. AWS is an inbuilt feature available. There's a service where you can, it'll suggest any unattached volumes are available, unused, you know, NACs are available, unused target groups, unused, you know, load balancer, anything like that, right? It will keep you, you know, uh, in, it will keep you, give you information based on that you can plan for cleaning those idle resources, orphan resources, okay? And uh, there are features like auto scaling, there are features like Spart instances, right? Can save your money instead of going with every time on demand uh, instances, better you can. Uh, go ahead and uh, use this uh, spot instead of this kind of resources. And again, uh, the trusted advisor also will suggest if you are using higher instance types of value are used in either an RDS services or you are used in EC2 services, right? That time, again, the trusted advisor will help you. Hey, you can downgrade your servers. Those things also will be helpful. Okay, fine. Now, uh, we'll be discussing about the scenario four. Uh, you need, you need to securely manage Okay, access to AWS resources for your development team. What is the best way to implement access control? Okay, uh, so most common in every project, guys. Okay, so when we have a development team or any specific team, we need to implement the best way to uh, control their access. We are not supposed to provide over access. Okay, so it should be under the restricted access term. Okay, for that, uh, what we can do? Yep, this is your answer. I would use AWS identity and access management to define and manage user access roles and permissions. IAM enables fine grain control over who can access the resources and what action they can perform. Of course, yes, AWS has identity and access management. IAM service available, very important service where you can create a user, where you can create a groups. You can create a roles, you can create a uh, new permissions or you can use existing permission, whatever it is, where you can have a control. Uh, these people, set of people, what they can do maximum. These set of people, what we are restricting them. Okay, even we can have a permission boundary strategies. Everything, we will be applying it under the IAM. Using the IAM only, we will be discussing and we will be making sure the development team or any team will have a controlled way of access. Okay. This is the most common question in every interview. So have a clear understanding of this. All right. So fine, guys. So before uh, we go to the scenario five, of course, we all know, right? We'll be discussing about one great opportunity to all of you. Yeah, which is our internship program, guys. I'm planning to start on internship program. This internship program exclusively for practical thing. Okay. Because in this video, you are getting theoretical thing, theoretical content. But... When you wanted to practice it, right, right. So I'm I'm going to give you daily basis one one live project scenario to you. 
in the internship program okay so how it will be it will be like you know around uh, one month of uh, duration it is daily i need one hour of your commitment it could be morning or evening afternoon whenever you are free whichever the country you are located that's not a matter i need one hour of commitment to you so what you need to do daily basis in online either through email or through whatsapp i'll be sharing you the internship task to you daily basis client requirement i'll share it to you in your aws account okay we'll set up a free tier account on the aws account you need to implement that okay i will log into your account i will validate it whether you have completed the task properly or not daily basis i'll give monday to friday the weekly five days right i'll give you a task daily new new scenarios you'll have to implement in your account i'll validate it every friday i'll connect you in live okay so i'll validate i mean if you have any questions or doubt if you successfully completed and implemented the scenario that's fine if you are stuck anywhere you are not able to do you know in live i'll jump in i'll explain you in every friday okay so what is the prerequisite for uh, being part of this aws internship program so you should know aws concept basic at least okay you should have one degree and you should know the basic concepts of aws only then you can understand the task what i'm giving it to you okay so very limited seats are available per internship program i'm planning to take you know uh, 10 members okay not more than that and uh, the program fees the training the entire internship program it's not a training i'll not come i'll not take you sessions and all only directly i'll assign you a task if you are working in a live project what kind of task you will get i'll directly assign you a task you'll have to complete and show me if you stuck anywhere i'll help you on that is the way uh, we are planning to have it limited seats are available four triple line i have decided for uh, batch for the entire internship program i think it will be a very minimal it should, it should be let's see and whoever interested right you can see registration can be you can just whatsapp to this number 9360477164 you can whatsapp to this number so that i'll be uh, you know adding you into my uh, internship program batch all right let's get started i think this will be a really a good hands on experience to you if anybody not having a exp- uh, good ex- hands on make use of this opportunity that is what all i wanted to say okay uh, the people as i said anybody interested in be part of my internship program uh, have a you know uh, register to it by sending whatsapp message now we can go to uh, scenario 5 this is going to be our last scenario in this video uh yep your application has multiple microservices that communicate with each other okay how would you ensure secure communication between d services and the vpc right it's i think a good question i believe so when you have a multiple uh, you know microservices uh, have been set up in the top of uh, you know uh, your kubernetes or whatever how would you ensure secure communication between services in vpc level okay so here <laughs> yeah i would set up a vpc with a private subnet and use security group and network acl to control inbound and outbound traffic additionally i would consider using aws private link to keep traffic within the aws network within the aws network got it yes so we have a various options in network available security group network acls or uh, even we can go with the private subnets so this will ensure the controlled inbound and outbound whatever as request comes inside whatever the network you know outbound uh, traffic goes outside uh, we can make use of vpc to have this additionally we will be prefer to go with the private link there are you know a private link we can create where the traffic right uh, will go within the uh, aws uh, network privately that is a you know main feature yeah let me know if you need any specific uh, dedicated video for private link right uh, mention that in the uh, comment section so that i'll create a separate video on that uh, area got it so fine guys hope you really like that uh, five scenarios us yeah i'll definitely meet you with the next uh, video uh, tomorrow uh, probably i'll create a part 3 i'll come up with a different uh, five different scenario and uh, yeah uh, of course if you really like these five scenarios is right please uh, like this video and subscribe this channel and share with your friends and again i have a one uh, whatsapp uh, channel guys daily basis i am posting the uh, interview related information i mean interview questions and other important things to recall okay that whatsapp uh, channel link right i mentioned in this video description okay join it okay just click the link you'll be part of the channel okay so get my updates regularly uh, so you won't miss anything and of course again um, 
uh, if you really like the video just uh, put your thumbs up in your uh, uh, comment section so which will motivate me to create a uh, part 3 video okay let's all will meet in the part 3 video thank you for watching now all right bye bye